Drag and drop feature is very useful feature to give more flexibility to your website users and also it looks so cool. We can move this task card up and down in the same task status or we can also change status which can be to do, doing or done. So in this tutorial, we will see how to implement drag and drop feature in React. There are many libraries for that, but I am not a big fan of using those library. Instead, we can create drag and drop feature using drop events of HTML5. It is very simple, don't worry about that. Watch this complete tutorial and your all doubts will clear. So without wasting time, let's start implementing drag and drop feature in this React to-do application. If you want to create this application from scratch, then you can watch this tutorial. Now let's start this. So let me ask you one thing. What is happening in drag and drop feature? Don't think about writing code, just think about how drag and drop happen in real life. We are grabbing one thing and place it at some other place. Simple. Suppose we have list of tasks and we divide them in two categories, to do and doing. And we also arrange them in order of priority, which means which task we want to do first and then second, third, etc. And also we can do multiple tasks at the same time. Now suppose we want to move this second to do task to the doing list but at the second priority. What are the details we need here? Think about it. So the first thing we need is which task we are moving. Also we need in which category we are putting that task, to do or doing. Also we need at which position we are placing that task, in this case that is second. And that's it, we simply move this task to this category and position, simple as that. In this application, we have three categories, but drag and drop feature will stay the same. So I divided drag and drop feature in three steps. First, we should know which card we are moving. Second, we create dropping area where we can place our card because we don't want to place our card all over our application. So we will create dropping area for that. And last part, write function for drop task to position and change the status if we move to another status. So let's start with step number one, know which card we are moving. Currently in our application, our card is not draggable. First and foremost, we have to make them draggable. So in this application, for each column, I created this task column component, which we reuse. And for each task card, we have task card component. So we have to make this task card component draggable. Now to make our task card draggable, we have HTML5 attribute draggable to true. Or we can only write draggable. Save this. And now we can see now we can move our task card component. Now here we want to know which card we are moving. So we need something unique for each card like task ID. But we don't have ID in our task list. Don't worry, we can also use here this index which is also unique for each task. Now to store that dragging card index, we have to create local state variable because we can select any card and our dragging card value will also change. Now the question is where we create that draggable state variable. Where we need draggable card state. So in our app component, we have our task state. And also in app component, we need draggable card index. So we can modify our current task list. So after this task state, we create a new state variable called active card set active card and as the default value we set it to null which means no card is dragging now when we start dragging any card we store that card index value in this active card state and when drag will end we again make this active card value to null now to set active card to this task card index we need set active card function in task card component and how we can do that Right, by using props. So back to app component, we move our cursor to here, hold alt or option 
and also click for these two task column components. By holding Alt or Option, we can create multiple cursors. We pass new prop set active card equals to set active card and press escape for exit multi cursor editing. Save this and in the task column component, first we get set active card in props and also pass it in the task card component set active card equals to set active card. Save this and in the task card component, finally we get set active card function. Now in the article tag or if you have div, then in that tag HTML5 added drag events. Here we need on drag start because when we start dragging this task card, that time we set active card to the current card index, which is this index. So arrow function and simply set active card to index. Also, when our drag is over, we want to set null to active card. So we add another event on drag and arrow function set active card to null. Save the changes and for testing, let's print active card. In app component, at the bottom of main tag, we add h1 tag and simply print here active card. Save the changes and take a look. Drag one card. See, here we get the index of that task and the moment we drop our card, see, it's gone. Now here, when we are dragging our task card, we can highlight our selected card for better user experience. So in the task card.css file, after the task card style, we add task card colon active and inside this we first set opacity to 0.7 and border to 1 pixel solid has 111 which is black and also for task card we set cursor to grab save this and see now we get these styles so our first step is done now the second step which is creating dropping area means where we can drop our active card. We can drag our card at two places after each card or before our task list which is the place between this task status heading and list first task. So these are the places where we can place any card. So when we drag our card at that place we can show something like drop here or simple box. Let me show you how to create that. It is really simple. So in our component folder, we create a new component called dropArea.jsx. We are creating separate component for showing dropping area because we can use that same component multiple times. Here we add boilerplate code using RAFC at the place of this div. We can add section tag and here we write drop here text. Save these and let's display this dropping area component after each card. So here in the task column component, here we can see we are mapping all tasks in the column. So after this task card component, we add our dropping area component. Now here we get runtime error because here we are returning two components. So to solve these, we can wrap these both components with react.fragment and move this closing fragment after dropping area component. And here we have to pass key equals to index in react.fragment because here we are mapping list. Save the changes and take a look. See, after each task card, we get drop here component. Now we also need this drop area component here at the top of list. So back to VS code. Here, before this task map, we add drop area. Save the changes and take a look. See, here we get this drop area. Let's make these styles little better because here I think it is margin issue. 
So open task column dot CSS file and for this heading we add margin bottom to 15 pixel. Save this and also in taskcard.css file instead of this margin we set margin bottom to 15 pixel. Save this and now it looks little nice. Now we will style this dropping area section. So back to dropping area component. Here we give this component class name to drop underscore area. Now for CSS I like to create a separate CSS file drop area dot CSS. Here we add drop area and inside this width to 100% height to 100 pixel color to has DC 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 border to 1 pixel dash has DC 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 border radius to 10 pixel padding 15 pixel and margin bottom also 15 pixel. Now to apply these styles to our drop area component we need to import this file at the top. So import dot slash drop area dot CSS. This one thing I forgot a lot when I started learning react. Save the changes and take a look. See this is how it looks. Now by default we don't want to show this dropping area. We want to only show when we drag our task card on dropping area. For that we need to create one local state variable in drop area component. So use state and give it a name show drop set show drop and by default we make its value to false. Now the simple logic is when we drag our card on this section then we make this state to true and when we leave drag from this section we will make this state to false which means don't show. So in section tag we have another event called on drag enter arrow function and set show drop to true. And we add another event on drag leave arrow function and simply call set show drop to what write false. Also for this class name we can add condition. So here we add curly brackets. If show drop is true then we add drop area class else we add hide underscore drop class. Save the changes and in the drop area dot CSS file we have to add some more styles. So in drop area we add opacity to 1 and also transition to all 0.2 second is in and out and at the bottom dot hide underscore drop we simply set opacity to 0. Save the changes and take a look. Drag one card and simply hover on dropping area. See how beautiful this looks. So here our second step is also done. Now we just need to know on which position we are dropping our card and then according to that we write function for updating our task list. Now first how can we know in which column we are dropping the task. So in the task column I previously passed status. So we can use that status and also for getting the position we have here index. So if we want to add our task next to this task then our new index will be index plus one. Don't get confused I will show you in just a minute. So in the app component we create a new function called on drop and in the parameter we get status which is in which column we are dropping our task and also we will get index or we can say position which is the position of dropping task. For now I simply console.log backticks dollar active card is going to place into dollar status and at the position 
dollar index at the place of index i like to give this parameter name to position i think that is more accurate now we have to call this function when we drop our card in dropping area because that's when we want to make changes in our task so we pass this function as props in this three task columns i think by mistakenly i give on drag function name so select this and press f2 and rename the function name save this file and in the task column component first we get the on drop as props and we simply pass that on drop function as props in this drop area component also for on drop function we have to pass status equals to status and also we need index which is index plus 1 because we want to place that card after this task card now instead of passing this three props we can do something like this in the on drop props we can pass callback function and we simply call here on drop function and first parameter we pass status which is this task column status and then we pass index plus 1 if you get confused in this method then you can separately pass three props and in the drop area component you have to call simply like this let's save this file and in the drop area component we get on drop function now in this section we have another event called on drop which will run when we drop something into this section So here we pass callback function and first we simply call this on drop function without parameter because we already passed that parameter in previous props and also here we have to hide the drop area after we drop the card so set show drop to false save this and if we do drag and drop into any drop area we don't get our console message because we have to prevent the default behavior of on drag over event so we add here on drag over we get here event error function event dot prevent default save this and now if we again drag and drop the task then we get our console message which is one is going to place into doing and at the position 3 because this first card index can be 2 but it doesn't matter so we are getting our needed data and also position now if we drag and drop our card at the very beginning of the list here we get the error on drop is not function because we don't pass on drop function as props in this drop area so i simply copy this on drop props from the bottom and simply paste it here now can you tell me which property we need to change here right we just need to change the index because status is going to be the same so at which position this dropping area is simply it is at 0 because in array 0 index is the first position save the changes and take a look now we get the console message so we have active card status and position now we just need to write logic for rearranging our task in on drop function so first of all we check condition if active card equals to null or active card equals to undefined then we simply return from this point After that let's simply pick task we want to move so const task to move equals to task and we get active card after that to update our task list first we have to remove the current active card from our task list so task dot filter here we get each task and also we get the index error function and here we pass condition index 
not equals to active card. So this filter method will remove our current active card from this task list and return updated task array. So we can store that array in the variable called updated task. Now we just have to place our task to move at our dropped position. So we can use a splice method like this. Updated task dot splice. Now at the first parameter, we write where we want to place our new item. In our case, it is stored in position. After that, we write zero, which basically means zero elements removed. And at the third parameter, we can pass our object or item which we want to store at this position. So I add here object and first of all, I spread all properties from task to move object. And after that, we can simply change the status property to this parameter status. Now as we know, we have updated task list. So we can simply set task to updated task. Also, from the bottom, let's remove this h1 tag which is displaying active card. Save the changes and take a look. See, now we can move our task from one list to another and also we can move them in simple list. So that's it for this tutorial. This is a long tutorial. But I hope you see drag and drop is not that much difficult. Just we have to do step by step process. Also, if you are React beginner, I have complete ReactJS course which you can buy on Udemy. You can check that out. Comment what you want to learn next and I will see your smiling faces in the next video.